YouTube is good, man. It's your boy Melly coming back on the video, and today we got some NBA 2K21 news. I would have never knew about this news if it wasn't for Twitter, bro. Only because I don't watch NBA 2K TV. But I'm gonna give y'all my take on this news. Now, basically, we're just gonna pretty much react to this video. I seen bits and pieces on Twitter, you know, people was talking about it or whatever. And I'm gonna give y'all my take. I'm gonna give y'all the Melly take on it, bro. So if y'all are new to the channel, Make sure y'all do it. Hit that sub. Go ahead and turn on them Noti. Speak of the Noti gang. Noti gang, smash that like button. Let's try to get 100 likes, bro. How come we never hit 100 likes, bro? Hit the like button, bro. It's just that simple. It takes two seconds out of your day, and it helps out the channel, bro. So smash that like button. But without further ado, bro, let's get into it, man. Is next gen just going to be the same game but 2.0? What can you tell Answer us? Answer the question, Mike. It's absolutely not, Alexis. And I think that's something that we're so excited okay. about is that you know, we've actually taken the current gen version of the game and we split development between uh, VC Novato and our studio in LA called VC South. And so oh. they've done a great job just to find that the next gen game is gonna be everything that you have in the current gen version, but just so much more in terms of like what you can do, the breath. We already title, know that, Mike. So get to more, the juicy, so get to the juicy, so Mike. Get to the juicy. Completely different. So it's a very different beast. And um, you know, if you have the means, I highly recommend all our fans to save up for that next gen version because it's oh be we saving up bro mike with all this new technology what does that mean for gameplay in nba 2k21 for the next generation he act like he don't know bro like you know developers because we're always able to look and, and kind of dream bigger and uh for us it just meant you know faster processing it meant more memory it, um just the, the ability to do things that we couldn't do in last generation and so um for us it's I think the big next step you're gonna see is just immediately when you play the game, it's gonna feel completely different. From there, we're able to just add so much more on top of that to make it feel even better, so. All right, let's talk specific modes. Okay, Anything I see you, you I can see tell you. Us about? They trying to make it seem like the next gen is gonna be just out of this world, bro. But they supposed to do that. It's their game, they supposed to boost it up or whatever. I wanna see gameplay. Do y'all wanna see gameplay? I wanna see gameplay like right now, like I need it. But we didn't want to unveil too much new stuff today uh, with new modes. But one thing I will say is that fans of the WNBA are going to be very excited. Uh, for whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on, let's rewind that back. Wait a minute. Let's rewind that back. Let's rewind that back. Fans of the WNBA are going to be very excited. Uh, for the WNBA. Fans of the WNBA is going to be very excited. So does that mean, <laughs> I'm just throwing this out there, bro. Are we going to be getting female characters at the park? So let's just think about this. Hypothetically speaking, a defensive player with 30 attribute upgrades or his defensive badges or whatever, and a female hooper come down the court and just dunk all over him, bro. Do you know how disrespectful that is, bro? I would really uninstall my game, bro. Real talk. I would really uninstall my game. Like, come on, bro. Female hoopers at the park? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. This is out of Mike Wayne mouth, bro. So, I don't know, bro. WNBA players will be very excited about this next year game. Like, that's crazy. Bro. We wanted to invite one member of the 2K community on the show today. Welcome, Agent Double Zero to okay, 2 Okay, my TV. boy, AJ. What has been What's up, up boy? I've just been focusing on content, to be honest with you. Um, that's really been it. That's been my life. Every moment from when I wake up to when I go to sleep, I'm just working on some kind of different video. Hey, Mike, you've been ghosts, man. We've been, we've just been like, man, where Mike at? We just want to hear something from Mike. I can either tweet or I can make a game, my man. Word, and we'd rather have you making a game. <laughs> I can either I tweet bet. or make a game, my man. We need news, boy. You better come out with the news. I was on 2K20. What was your favorite part of that game? Um, uh, uh, honestly, my uh, favorite part is uh, just... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he was hesitating. He ain't want to say, man, this game is trash, bro. Playing with my friends at the end of the day, but I'm on the part most... He said... <laughs> He didn't even say the game was fun. He said the most fun was playing with his friends. That's it. <laughs> the time anyway. Um, oh, that's so a, just bro. He just violated two K, bro. This is Matt underrated. Is team up. I found out I like team up because I didn't. Yo, I can't believe Agent just said this, and like Mike Wayne expression was like it, it was golden. Like honestly, just playing with my friends. We got we got to rewind this back. We got to rewind this back. Um, honestly, my favorite part is just. 
playing with my friends at the end of the day, but I'm on the park most of the time anyway. Um, so I'm just looking for new park experiences. But actually, <laughs> look at this dude. <laughs> Mike Wayne is like, oh my gosh, bro. He didn't say anything about the game that he liked. Like, all he liked was to play with his friends, bro. Really, bro? Oh my gosh. That's funny. This is Matt Underrated is Team Up. I found out I like Team Up because I Thank never really you. played on that. I like Team Up too. Team Up is, is actually fun. A lot of times from the dev, from the dev standpoint, we're like, how can we get, make the game more realistic? Or how can we make it look more like, you know, what we see on TV? We don't want that. Aren't. Yeah, look, time out. We don't want that. But hold on, you know, I'm just gonna let him finish this, bro. But we don't want that. I'm sorry. Equal, right? Sometimes a really fun game is not necessarily the most realistic game. Thank right. you. So we've, we've, we went to, you know, through a lot of just different meetings and the, the design ideas. Thank you, AJ. He's like, you know, yeah, thank you. You finally games. listening. Um, and we got called out by, you know, some NBA players. Of what wasn't like fun. ass grinding. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of uh, stuff. Wait, before they change topics or whatever, I want to, you know, go back to what he said that the realistic games wasn't really the best game. See, me personally, I like 2K18. It was realistic and everything. Now, 2K16 and 2K17 wasn't the most realistic games at all, but it's the most loved games. 2K15 too, that game was horrible, but it was the most fun, you feel me? But at the same time, we want fun, the devs want realistic. So now they are trying to find a balance. We're like, how can we have it fun and realistic at the same time? And that's where they are trying to, you know, come up with a way to make the game more fun. And I like the fact that they are acknowledging that their game is boring. It literally gets stale every year, bro. It never fails, but I'm just gonna let the video run. Like throwing the, throwing the ball, yeah. Throwing the ball away on cherry pick passes. Right. Things you didn't have control over. We don't like, have control over that. Like, That's not realistic, like bro. And this is the first time for you guys in a while where you had like a generation jump. Is there anything like you're real excited about? There's some really cool stuff with movement, I'll say that. Uh, oh. the, the movement and the feel of the game from current gen to next gen is like this giant leap. Oh. Um, and on top of that, you know, I'm not a graphics guy. I'm not an artist. But when I look at it as a fan of the game, I'm like, man, I'm blown away by what that team has accomplished too. So it just looks incredible. It's like the lighting looks crazy. The, the details. Hey, I'm ready for PS5 to drop, bro. So lifelike. Yeah, hey, y'all know I'm getting PS5, right? right? We about to go so, crazy Adrian, on the PS5. You've been really vocal about gameplay and a lot of the videos and the content that you create. You play a lot of Pro-Am, you play a lot of Park. What's one thing you want to see improved on from a gameplay standpoint? There needs to be like a variety of like effective animations. What I saw happen a couple times in 2K20 was when there was something like that behind the back, everybody was spamming it. When that was nerfed, it's like now there's really nothing to use. I prefer if there was more effective animations than no effective animations, if that makes sense, but. Thank you, Agent. Thank you. I'm sorry, headphone users. I'm probably loud right there. But anyway, I had to make my point. Agent just made a very good point, bro. So I had to, you know, react the way I did. And he said it to Mike Wayne. So therefore, this could actually be beneficial for us because Agent is one of the top dogs in the community. And I'm pretty sure Mike Wayne will listen to him versus listen to me. And Agent did make a great point about the behind the back. We literally had nothing but the behind the back. And the behind the back, it was it was effective, but when they took it out, what else did we have? Nothing, we didn't have nothing. And I do agree with Agent on that. It's literally nothing that you can do in this game. And like, bro, we need more animations going into 2K21. Like we need to be able to customize our dribble moves, literally everything. I do not like the way that um, 2K went when 2K20 came out because all it was was explosive behind the back, explosive behind the back, go left, go right, explosive behind the back, explosive behind the back again. Like, bro, we don't want that. I'm glad Agent brought this up and I hope Mike Wayne listens because this is literally what the community wants more variety. Mike, now this is your chance to ask Agent a question, maybe about gameplay or 2K20 or 2K21. What's on your mind, Mike? This idea of esports. You know, yeah, I know a lot of people complain about dice rolls and missing full whites. Like, do you think that's something we need to go like to the extreme with? What I'm scared of, I guess, is like, we make Team Pro-Am or something. Make it so that if you don't get a perfect release, you'll miss every single time. Like, is that an experience you think people will want? Yes! Yes, 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 thank you. This is how the game was at the beginning of the year, bro. We needed full whites, 
anything white should not go in. It literally has to be green. We need straight greens to go in. No whites. If you shoot a white, it's not going to go in. Period, bro. No white should never go in. If you don't know your jumper, I'm sorry, bro. That's not my problem. Put on flexible release. Don't sit here and depend on whites, bro. Like, that's so annoying. And I hate when people be smacking whites in my face, bro. I literally played a game the other day. Dude shot five whites. They all went in, bro. Like, I can't I make this up. It up. I mean, that's what a lot of games do. So it's like, you know how when you choose and you, you log into the games, like what difficulty you're gonna play on? It's like, if there's a fun unranked mode where it's not, it doesn't have to have a huge skill gap. You're just in there to have a good time with your friends. And when you go ranked, it's like, oh, now we getting serious. Like you can't mess up your release in a ranked mode. Um, I feel like that's the only way to keep like both sides of the people happy, the casual people that just want to hop on the game and have fun and the competitive guys who are in there to try and get as good as human. I like possible. that. I like that. I think that. you knew that though, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. So we're pretty much gonna, you know, call the video a quits right here. I pretty much enjoyed today's video because of the simple fact that it gave me a bunch of information about NBA 2K21. One thing I did take out of this video and that I really want to see happen in NBA 2K21 is the whites. The whites should never go in, bro. Straight greens. If you shoot a white, it should be broken, buddy. Should be broken. Anyway, bro, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you go and leave a like. Go ahead and comment and subscribe. It's your boy, Melly, and I'm...